when do you know it's time to leave a relationship? When your friend's man is trash, but your friend isn't seeing it. Mm. Advice to leave someone who constantly cheats and is just toxic. Where is my husband? It's ghetto out here. Girl, it very much is. Self-worth, she said. So, Hey y'all, it's Olive Destiny, and in this video, we're going to be doing another girl chat. I'm excited to record. I need to get a brow pencil. So the one that I'll be using is the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. But I would take 10 minutes just on brows for the girl chat. So I start by just kind of underlining the top after I brushed them out already, obviously. If you're not interested in makeup, definitely use this kind of like a podcast style. Lay your phone to the side or something and just hear my voice. As I'm sitting here right now, and I'll put a little pop-up if you all want to skip ahead. So I'm DMing Vlogmas Day 17, the giveaway winner currently. And then we're going to also close out the Vlogmas Day 18 giveaway winner um, at the end of this video. Both names will be in the description box down below. For the next winner, $100 right here. I'm going to click pay. Okay, pay. I'm going to enter my pen really quick. Done. So there is the proof. If day 11 is closed, day 17 is closed. And as I'm sitting here filming this video, day 18 is closed. I'm going to pick the winner as soon as I finish doing my makeup. I think the last girl chat that I did was about two months ago. I will put it right here on the screen. So I did post to Instagram. I had you all send me over the topics to guide today's video. I took a screenshot of a few of them because they were still in my archives. Thank goodness. But the reason I like to do Instagram is because the responses are hidden. Even though I'm not hidden, and everybody see me discussing it. But I, it means I get to keep y'all kind of low-key. Elf Poreless Face Primer. So the first thing that I have, or from the screenshots, is finding new friends. Like when you just naturally kind of click with someone. I was actually in the mall and this girl like... I don't know we were just talking and it became like a beauty related conversation and we kind of just vibed off of similarities and it'll just turn into like oh girl what's your instagram i'm gonna follow you da 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 and from there you kind of interact with people and things like that but i'm never one to force things and i love the way that social media really connects and bonds us together um so when you have similarities with people i feel like that's where friendships come from but i think it's important to know the difference between a friendship and an acquaintance or an associate and not everybody is a friend just let it naturally happen don't force it the same thing with any other relationship don't fight it just let it happen what do you consider the ultimate comfort food oh wow it depends on my mood it depends on what i want like if i'm watching a movie if i'm watching a long vlog Whatever I grab normally, if it's something that's in your fridge, it's something that you like. But when it comes to comfort food, it's definitely not something that I'm going to have to cook or prep it and it takes all day. I'm definitely a dessert kind of girl, so I'm like a strawberry shortcake. I was in the mood for warm cookies, so I baked myself some cookies. This is the MAC Foundation, MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in NC45 and a beauty blender from Sephora. Yeah, I just get myself something sweet. I like seafood. Seafood isn't really a comfort food to me though. That's just really me liking seafood, if we gotta be honest. I like mashed potatoes too. When we tread in lightly, let's get it going. I hope that I don't put on too much makeup. I'm attempting to do this look right here because I didn't have time to record it that day. So that's what I'm gonna try to do for you all. But for whatever reason, when I'm not recording, I don't use that much, but it's something about trying to multitask that throws me off. So spare me the too much makeup comments. Spare me those because nobody does makeup to not look like they have on makeup. <laughs> Hi Destiny, I love you XOXO, love you too. When do you know it's time to leave a relationship? The moment you start having the thoughts, considering that you probably should, considering that this person is not for you, that's when you know it's the time. I Christmas calories do not count. Yeah, and I've been loving this one for Vlogmas. You can ask God to give you a sign, you pray. Yeah, but most times a person is showing you so this um concealer is by one of my subscribers it's the shades of tea i'm going to link her instagram or website down below whichever one i can find and the shade that she sent me is in jasmine tea matches perfectly okay i'm not gonna stop to do that every time it slows me down i'm realizing that think about how you feel if when that person calls and it's like oh here they go are you like Ugh, at the thought of this person do you force yourself to be around them are you forcing it because y'all remember what I said, it's 2021, we ain't forcing nothing except a rubber band around a bankroll. Y'all said a money clip. And I told y'all last time that if Olive Destiny was a rapper, she would say a rubber band. 
Rubber band man sounds way better than money clip. If something does not serve you, if something is not for you, don't force it. You have to get on your knees and pray and be like, okay, God, listen. By myself, I'm probably not strong enough to walk away. So I need your assistance with this. I need us to be on one accord with this. I need you to help me and to guide me and to give me strength. Prayer changes things. When your friend's man is trash, but your friend isn't seeing it. Mm. But being in a relationship, sometimes you're blinded. Holding on because of history or the fear of going through the process of healing. Like for whatever reason in our minds, when we process the thought of the healing process and it's just like, oh, that hurts. Being in my feelings hurts. Being without this person hurts. I don't know if that makes sense or not. <laughs> this is the Elf Concealer Rich Ebony. People just have to see for themselves. Once you've given your opinion, once you've attempted to assist your friends and just hope the best for them in their relationship. Until we have our minds made up in a lot of situations, outside opinions and thoughts don't really change anything. And when your friend sees that for herself, She'll be able to walk away. I use a darker concealer because as I blend this out, it helps to kind of chisel my face a little bit versus having one that's really close to my skin tone. Who's to say that the man isn't trash? Most times when people come to us, I guess maybe if your friend, if you're feeling that the part, this man is trash because she vents to you about him, most times a lot of us just want to be heard. We want to be listened to. We don't really want thoughts back. Would you use a dating app, she says. Absolutely not. I'm not into the dating app thing. If I gotta, y'all gonna hate me. But if I gotta do all of that, that's doing too much. I, no. If you think about Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, these are apps, but specifically just talking about literally me signing up for an app, putting information on there about myself and reading things about other people. That is, that's not for me. And you're gonna paint this picture of the best version of yourself for your application to be pulled by somebody. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. You don't know who you could be meeting. Some people could sign up for those apps just for predatory type of reasons. Meanwhile, you have some people on there that's really trying to use it genuinely. And some people could take advantage of that. And then somebody ends up hurt or used or... Times are just too dangerous. Mm -mm. No thank you. Advice to leave someone who constantly cheats and is just toxic. Oh, mm. uh, wow. Well, toxicity is not fun. It's not really even about forgiveness and they said they're not going to do it anymore. If you're new to my channel, I was a biology major. And so, like I said, that's why a lot of times when I discuss certain things, like feminine hygiene and things like that, it doesn't really bother me and it comes naturally to me to talk about the human body, to talk about chemistry related things. That's what I went to college for even though I don't use my degree, it just... We had to talk about that kind of stuff in lecture and labs. I don't know if y'all have ever Googled pictures of diseases. They scare me. It ain't even about all oh, they've apologized. A person can bring something to you that you cannot get rid of. Convince and tell yourself whatever you need to convince and tell yourself and get up out of there. <laughs> By the way, Ratchet Destiny said, hey, I did tell you all when y'all got that other chat to a certain amount of likes that she would guide the other one so I'm gonna let her pop out and do her thing in this video a lot. Sometimes people feel that being in a relationship means oh we're gonna go through things and not always get along. It's gonna test us and it's gonna be our ups and downs and we have to stick with one another and blah blah blah. You ain't gotta go through all of that. Nobody has to put you through hard times and treating you mean and things like that just for it to be a relationship. I say this all the time and people think I'm joking when I say it. I'm not a ride or die. I'm nobody's ride or die. Like you cannot put me through anything. I saw where some people will tweet and they'll talk about their proposal to a person. Sephora Micro Smooth, Mahogany Deep. Uh, number 56 and they'll talk about how this person has been by their side through thick and thin and this this that and the other and basically the proposal is like a I put her through all of this and she's stuck by me I want to marry her Neil three days later you in front of his mom house crying he asking you why you being weird why you being weird to me you said you wanted to get married when I say that you're not putting me through nothing I ain't no ride or die like and I'm not gonna get out the car you're gonna pull over on the e-way or wherever we are I'm gonna put you out of the car, even if it's your car, because <laughs> I don't got a car. <laughs> I'm gonna put you out the car and you're gonna leave. And you could, you know, take your phone with you, call who you need, get your Uber. But I'm not a ride or die. So don't be out here letting people put y'all through any and everything and all oh, we supposed to stick it out together and all oh, you gonna leave me now. 
Ah, oh, you got, ooh, wee. Girl, I must be saying the wrong thing. Why I get hit in the mouth like that, God? Hello? The wrong number. <laughs> there are real relationships out here that exist where two people can live in harmony and be equally yoked, happy and thriving together. Going into 2022 on our list, remember I told y'all I made a leaving it in 2020, bringing into 2021 list. We need to review that list. Let me know if y'all want to review it at the end of this year so we can see what I did and didn't do. <laughs> Let's add that to the list. We have no room for toxicity. We have no room for things that do not serve us, people who do not serve us, situations that do not serve us. God is a big God and you can ask him for anything and he wants the absolute best for his children. I put this on my post on my Twitter the other day. Um, I wasn't able to film Sunday at church. It's hard to film and play the organ. But I tweeted my, the topic of my dad's sermon, God does not stop love. And if something is for you, if it's meant to be, if he knows the desires of our heart, he's not going to present something to you and be like, I got this for you, but it's going to be a challenge to keep it. No, no, the tests and trials come before the blessing. So if this person is supposed to be your blessing, your everything, your, you know, your forever man, your booyah bae, whatever y'all like to call him, it's not gonna be hard, it's not gonna be difficult, not if it comes from God. If it didn't come from God, then yeah. <laughs> but if this is presented to you through him, it ain't hard at all. Because he equips you and he prepares you for whatever it is that he's going to call you for. And if God call you for a certain position or for anything like that, he's going to equip you for that. Think about all of that, girl, and if the thoughts are in your head and it's like, yeah, this doesn't serve me. And y'all heard what I said last time. The longer you stay somewhere where it's not for you, the longer it takes to get to what is. Because God ain't going to snatch you from it. We have free will and we have choice. So he ain't going to, come on, come on. We have a mind. We got a conscious mind. We have, the decision is yours. The choice is yours. So he ain't going to force you to leave. You got to do that. That probably was way more than the question, girl, but... Not me 20 minutes in. <laughs> how do you feel about moving into your new home and house? I absolutely love it here. I love it so much. The process was pretty breezy. There were the ups and downs with you apply and say, oh, this is the house. And then you don't get the house. And then I would think about things like what God has for me is for me. If I did not get this one and someone else was accepted to receive this one and my bill was not accepted, whatever he has for me is going to be, you know, the best option everything is coming together beautifully um one room that i do need to work on a little bit more is actually the film room i'll do like an overlay to show you all how i'm currently sitting because i know behind me looks all cute and stuff like that but girl behind the scenes look at how i'm sitting on this little desk so i definitely need to start working in here more my sister bone helped me in here a lot um i'm gonna get a desk to put in here comment down below when i show y'all the b-roll would you all think that like i think maybe a clear desk will look cute right here because clear won't make the room look maybe like a clear or if not clear glass um it won't make the room look too closed off but i love it here i love it a lot i'm very proud of the fact that i was able to accomplish such a thing it, purchasing a home was something that i wanted to do before 30 but at the same time i feel like the things that you do in life they happen when they're supposed to happen in god's time and not our own so that could be something that i wanted but at that specific time Maybe he did not have that for me. Um, and I just love the fact that when I do make certain moves and do certain things, I try not to do things prematurely because I want to do it one time and I want to do it right. I don't want to be someone who has to do it over and over and over. Same thing with like moving out and things like that. And then you have to go back because you either moved early, you weren't financially ready for it or mentally prepared for it or people were influencing it and things like that. But I try to move in a way to where it's like, when I do it, I'm going to do it right. I don't care how old I am. I don't care how long it takes. God's timing is, is not ours. And so when that does happen, that's when it happens. And until then, you know, you sit pretty, you sit back and you wait. And what's for you is for you. But I love it. I love it here. Every morning when I wake up, I'm just like, wow. Like, I walk through here sometimes and I just be like, I drove by where I used to live. I'm st I still try to be low key about things like that. Like even though I've moved now, I'm not gonna just up and just show the outside of where I used to stay. But if we wanna talk square footage, this isn't me bragging. Maybe I am bragging on the goodness of the Lord. Okay, cause the upgrade is very much real. But this square footage, y'all, going from even just downstairs. Okay, I ran out of space. 
So I'm back. Just thinking about me, single black woman, 30, by myself. Did this like not saying like by myself in the sense of like discrediting discrediting God because I think a lot of times when people say that people come at you like ah oh, you discrediting God I don't got no ring on my finger I don't like like does do that does that make sense what I'm saying so it's very inspirational it motivates me it it shows me like wow like I'm really doing something right in a sense if you kind of want to look at it like this so I'm very thankful very grateful for how far I have come. If you've been here for more than a few years on my YouTube channel, then y'all have seen the journey. You've seen the glow up, <laughs> if you will. So yeah, I used to actually film my videos in my parents' house, um, in my bedroom. The thought of, I was like, where did I keep all of this stuff at? In one room. So without putting anything on the brush, I just kind of dab around to blend okay come on because i feel like i haven't touched a lot of topics how to train your mind to really believe that you are that girl um to believe in what god says about you and blocking out the outside opinions of others it's not conditional it's not um based on your circumstances and say where oh once i have this once i have that then i'm that girl it's an internal thing the same way happiness is an internal thing not necessarily like material things around you. Knowing that you're that girl is just within yourself. This robe that I got on or me having this top knot, those are parts of me, which kind of while I'm being that girl already, I'm wearing the top knot, I'm wearing the robe. But me internally as a person, what I say about myself in my mind, because truthfully, you're with yourself more than anybody else. So you have to really block out the thoughts and opinions of other people, because people just, ugh. People can really just kind of get in your head if you let them. And so you just really have to focus on how you feel about yourself. Speak positivity into yourself. Speak over yourself. Encourage yourself. Because how you feel about yourself is all that matters. And can't nobody tell you differently. <laughs> and it's definitely a daily thing. I kind of go heavy with the blush because we have to wear masks. As I'm building everything on, it's closer to the top. I'm not saying give clown vibes, but the blush is closer to the top, so. You know focus on positivity if you have people around you who make you feel less than you should people who try to treat you in ways in which you don't even treat yourself get rid of people like that especially if you're in the place of knowing that you're at a state of trying to heal trying to build trying to grow and develop yourself to be a better person having that in your ear and in your surroundings will not help you it won't mold you into being a better person because you got to really be distracted from distractions if that makes sense I'm recording! Not me noticing that I did not blend this out underneath here the entire video. I talk to myself. Like, even when I finish my makeup, I'm gonna be looking in the mirror like, girl, you look good. Like, girl, you, you know, you this, you that. So I didn't do any eyeshadow for that look. Um, I just kind of took my contour palette by Black Radiance. I smoothed a little bit of powder over that foundation to make sure that it's not going to crease. But I didn't want to do like a bold... I look as well as the red look I kind of just kept it neutral like that plus it was quicker too to not have to do eyeshadow where is my husband it's ghetto out here great very much is but at the same time you gotta wait on what's for you a lot of times people try to rush people oh you're this age and you don't have a husband yet and you need to tell y'all the story on why that's my favorite scripture and how God kind of gave that to me but I really reflect on that scripture a lot though it linger wait for it it will surely come. I'll put it on the screen because I'm paraphrasing, but it will not tarry. It will surely come. That's what it says. And I reflect on that in all aspects of my life. The home buying process, yes, it took a while. Me and my agent Craig jokes about that all the time. Like, But when God has something for you, sometimes it does take a while. If he's either prepping that person or that job or their career or whatever it is that's going to take you to the next level, Perfection takes time. Beauty takes time. Even me sitting here doing my makeup. If I'm finished in two minutes, something's wrong. And don't let people rush you. Don't let society rush you. And if it's something that you asked him for and that has not happened yet, it hasn't happened yet. But I think in being on one accord with him, we just have to 
be patient and just wait because you could easily rush it and let's talk about it because i did say i was gonna relay ratchet destiny and do her thing you got a lot of people out here that ask people when you getting married why you not married yet as if singleness like i said is a curse singleness is a blessing it's not a curse at all you get to reflect and spend more time with yourself and do things for yourself like even next year i was like you're gonna travel more you're gonna travel more even if you gotta go by yourself i'm gonna probably start slowly and go to places that are kind of more close by since it's just me and then try to go further miles, further mile, further mile. Your entire life is not about having someone to compliment it. It's yours. And that person is supposed to compliment it. They're not supposed to complete you. You're not supposed to move daily with like a, my entire life is about waiting for him. Where is he? Where's my husband? I'm ready to plan my wedding. <laughs> like, stay focused and enjoy yourself and your life. It's kept in no shade if you're married. Marriage is a beautiful thing. Marriage is honorable. But at the same time, y'all out here asking people when they're getting married, but you trying to get divorced. Somebody, oh! Like, make it make sense. And I said what I said, I said how I said it. And we ain't editing nothing out of this video. How are you rushing the process and not trusting the process? Mac. Mascara. But yeah, it's ghetto out here when he's not the one. Like I said, you just got to be like, oh, I'm finna roll. You're not the one. And then it becomes unghetto. Self-worth, she said. Again, it goes back to what you say about you. People are always going to have something to say. Somebody's going to like this red lipstick. Somebody's going to hate it. But self-worth means I like the way this look on me, baby. So I'm wearing it. Looks good. And let's be honest, it don't look bad. Your girl look good. She look oh so luscious and oh so good. Like... Giving it to the girls very much. When the time comes for you to choose you, you choose you. Self-worth also means knowing that you are worthy. That you are worthy of, I'm not married, but I'm going to buy a home. Because I still got to have somewhere to lay my head. I can't wait on a man to lay my head somewhere. <laughs> so that's what self-worth means. Self-worth means... I'm worthy of having these things. I'm worthy of this friendship. I'm worthy of this life. I'm worthy of this love. I'm worthy of all the things that I have and also do not have. A lot of times we thank God for things that we have and we don't say, thank you God that I don't have this. Yeah. For knowing that you deserve the absolute best and you don't have to feel uncomfortable or ashamed oh he gave this person this and he's not going to give me this he's not going to give me that and i have to tell myself that sometimes too and i won't edit this out because a lot of times i kind of be on hush hush with like how i really feel about things um and sometimes i look and i'm just like okay this person is married or this person has this and this person has that and that's why you have to go back reflecting on your own life no 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 Come on, how I get the red right there. I went ahead and put one on and I did like a small wing. But what you do have is enough. Not enough in the sense of being content, but worth. Like I have to tell myself that sometimes because I feel like, uh, I think I spoke about that in church once. You know how you get up and you testify and this and that. And sometimes I ask God like why he chose me to bless the way that he has. And it just goes right back to that because I'm worthy because he says that I am. Okay, I'm horrible at letting a guy know I'm interested, what should I do? Girl, because if I go up here and say something to this man, he get the upper hand. <laughs> I put that lash on so easy because I wasn't recording. But when you all find out, let me know because I'm not an approacher and I don't. Mm. And yeah, I know my earrings don't match. I could only find one of each. So I was like, who said they got to match? Mm -hmm. Maybe say to him what you would like to have said to you. I think guys are pretty simple so also speaking of guys because in my other video when we did the which video was that I'll put the screenshot of it right here in that video while we're on the subject of men because I had a girl ask me I'm out of breath I ran downstairs to go and grab these makeup wipes speaking of loving the house I gotta get used to the stairs somebody was like well why did you pick a house with stairs but it's just like girl mm -mm, we're gonna get used to the stairs so in that video girl asked me she's like what do you get a man who's not your man but he kind of is and I was so upset with myself after the fact I went live on Instagram so some of y'all may have heard me say it I wasn't comfortable and I was upset that I posted that video with that answer in there when I played it back I was like destiny that was not the right answer to give this girl I tweeted about it a little bit and I want to say it out loud because I think in reading it it sounds bitter 
or upset. But someone who's not showing you that you are, again, speaking of worthy and all of that, that they don't choose you, don't go over and beyond buying them anything. They don't get a gift. <laughs> Let me read the tweet to you all. What did I say? Men slash women, because I encourage guys to watch the girl chats as well. It helps us to better understand one another, you know? Men and women who have not established a clear slash serious relationship with you receive nothing. That's how I said it on Instagram Live. They get nothing. You got sand, Django. <laughs> they receive nothing for the holiday. The unofficial booze who don't think enough of you to make things official or show you that he or she truly wants you get absolutely nothing. Don't go over and beyond to treat a person in a way in which they're not treating you because then you're, you will be sitting around unsatisfied. If they're having you expect nothing of them, they can't fix their mouth to ask you for a gift. Oh, I thought you was getting me, excuse me? Why did you think that? Don't give people more credit than they deserve. We got a few more days until Christmas. Mm -mm. You get me. And now I've redeemed myself because I was not satisfied with the answer of that video. I was like, no, Destiny. <laughs> no, ma'am. So that's my new answer. Tips for a glow up. Even if you don't wear makeup, because you don't have to put on makeup to feel glowed up. I'm recording! All right. People be thinking I'm yelling at them, but it's a thing now, so I have to do it. I put on my highlight, but the glow comes from within. <laughs> It's not the makeup that makes me feel that I'm that girl. Again, like what we said earlier, it's an inward thing. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope I got to enough of the topics. Sometimes I don't keep my answers short like I should. I'm gonna work on that so that I can squeeze more of them in. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Girl chats make me so nervous. The day that I posted about the girl chat wasn't the day that I filmed it because I came in here and made myself feel so overwhelmed about it being a great video that I psyched myself out of it and I walked away. I was like, I can't do it. <laughs> Girl chats are my favorite videos, are amongst my favorite beauty videos, like the maintenance routines, and then the girl chats are amongst my top favorite videos that I record from me, from my point of view. I know y'all love like the vlogs, the moving vlogs, all of that. But those are the ones I love, but they get they take forever to record, especially the maintenance ones. And then I just be like, mm, when it comes to these girl chats, cause I be like, what am I gonna say to encourage and motivate and inspire you all but I think just me as I am and whatever answer that I have to give I'm thankful that you all do receive that a little Maybelline fix it spray the fan is from the beauty supply store by the way actually it's been over six hours I'll say since I sat down to film this video so this is what my makeup looks like y'all tell me why I put my mask on and ruined this and then I was in the mall and I walked away and left it sitting right here and I was like <laughs> let's get this girl checked because y'all got the last one to the 3,000 likes which is why we're here again so let's get this girl checked to 4,000 likes this time and I will do another one for you all thank you all for your support of vlogmas I really appreciate it we got a few more days left, girl, so stay tuned. Love this look, perfect for the holiday season. Red is kind of considered typical around this time, but not for me because I always do natural looks. So for me to kind of pull out a red for the season, baby, it's given. 